So, uh, actually, we wrote the book. Um, I have two co-authors on this book, and what we um, noticed was that there was actually a lot of uh, this increasing interest in the semantic web. People have been talking about it for about ten years, but um, more recently, there's been a lot of open source projects and um, and uh, large companies like Yahoo and Google saying that they're going to start supporting semantic web standards. So. And we sort of looked around at the books that were out there that people could use to learn, and we decided there wasn't enough with like a really practical focus. There's a lot about ontology out there. There's a lot about um, that. There's a lot about like sort of the the XML standards. But what we wanted was like, okay, I'm a programmer. I'm interested in the semantic web. Like, give me some exercises I can do right now, and show me how it can help me with my actual day to day work. So uh, the book itself starts with. Um, the first chapter is called Why Semantics, and it really is about um, where the cases in which traditional data modeling, like um, like either tabular data or relational data, sort of breaks down, and that's in the face of rapidly changing requirements, uh, which we think is what's characterized by the web. You want applications that you can iterate on quickly, uh, but traditionally you haven't had data models that you could iterate on quickly, and that's what uh, semantics really gives you. And so we uh, decided, and so the, the whole introduction to the book is really about like why you should care about semantics, and then we get more into the tools that are available for you to use today, and also um, different ways of sharing data, uh, different uh, large companies like um, that, that are using semantics and what they're using them for. and. Um, and then finally, what the grand vision of the semantic web that Tim Berners-Lee laid out about 10 years ago means and how it fits into the context of what we're talking about. The story um, uh, about the semantic web, the, this large web of data that uh, Tim Berners-Lee has been telling for near on 10 years now. Um, it's it's a, a very idealistic story where uh, uh, people are publishing their data as long as as, lo, as well as their websites that they publish right now, and th then we have this. Uh, he calls them agents, machines, uh, programs can run around and interact uh, automatically with the web on your behalf. You know, schedule your appointments, uh, keep track of you know where you're going, get your movie tickets, and things like that. And it hasn't happened yet, unfortunately, because the technology behind it is so uh, difficult to understand. So our goal in this book was to try and take this lofty vision that's living up right living rightfully up in the clouds and bring it down to earth just to the point where um, folks you and me and average developers can actually reach in and, and, and touch these technologies. The real reason for writing this book was to make sure that people understood that the mechanisms for the semantic web are actually available today. This promise has been out there for more than a decade uh, that the semantic web would be coming. There's the human readable web and there will be the machine readable web. And the truth is that in that decade, a number of really good tools and technologies have been built that allow people to benefit today, whether they're writing their own enterprise application, a mashup, uh, or they're integrating with their trading partners. And typically when the semantic web is presented, um, it's presented as these you know, serializations of RDF. Um, and they present the large W3C stack. And the problem is that it suggests that you have to learn all of these things before you can actually make use of these technologies. And so the idea behind the book was to make it very, very clear that you can grab a hold of bits and pieces and get benefit from those things today, within a matter of hours.